the food that you've had. Did you like it? Do whatever you want with me, but please do not talk to me like that. You're strong-willed. I want death, not humiliation. That is ironic. Thousands of Han soldiers sacrificed on the battlefield. Only the Marquis of Wuhan here lives in dishonor. In dishonor? I'm just waiting for an opportunity to fight against Chin. Did you hear? Did you hear that? You still want to let him go now? So that he can come back with his sword and kill Chin people again? Uh, please don't be angry. The Marquis is always like this. He's stubborn. Han Pao, before I let you go, I need to be certain of one thing. Do you still want to fight and destroy the Qin? If the Han state is invaded by Qin, then of course I must defend it. At the moment, Qin has no interest in invading the Han state. We would rather make peace with Han. <laughs> How hilarious this is. You've said that more times than anyone can remember. Don't you know that? Answer me this. In the past, who fought Han most? The Chu state, or was it the Qin state? The Zhao and Wei. They share ancestors with Han. Yet they still invaded Han violently. Only the Qin state, though it borders Han, has never declared war on you. Because the time has not yet come. You wanted to destroy Han at the beginning of your reign, right? The Qin's policy huh, of marching eastward was to occupy Han and make Han a county of Qin in the future, right? But Han could also occupy Qin as long as they're able, don't you know that? The state of Qin is right here. Anyone can just come and destroy it. I cannot assure you that the Qin won't want to destroy the Han in the future. But I can assure you that I will work for peace with Han, as long as I am still the king. But not because of you. If the Han state is invaded by any other state, then the Qin is sure to help. <laughs> I know the reason you make such promises is because you're afraid that you will attack your state. And once the war is over, you will go back on your word in a flash! Hum -hum. <laughs> Only because of my cousin that I'll let you go today! Hanpeng, you are free to go. Just come back with your troops in the future. Chin isn't afraid of you. And by the way, what exactly have you gotten from all your attacks on us over the past several years, huh? Wasted lives and money. So many Han soldiers have died in vain because of what you have done. If I was your king, I would sacrifice you to the spirits of those dead soldiers. What rubbish this is. You better leave now. I am not as kind and patient as the princess. Get out of my sight. Return to Han alive? Madam, would you return to the Han state with me as well? I won't. The Qin state is my home. Well, I treated you so very badly before. Please forgive me and give me a chance to make it up to you. What you can do? is to reconcile with the Chen state in the future.
I will persuade His Highness to do just that once I return to my home. Can you please forgive me? Does my forgiveness mean so much to you? Is it worth changing the state policies of Han? I served my state with no regard for my life. But Princess, I treated you poorly in the past. I have a clear conscience for Han. But I always knew that I would owe you an apology. Do we ally with Chin? Or with the Chi of the Chu State? Your Highness, we failed and suffered heavy losses in the Hangu battle, Xiu Yu battle and Anmen battle. However, we should blame the Qi and the Chu state for all this. They are the arch criminals. Yan and Chu, they withdrew halfway. And also, they bided their time to capture the towns of Wei Han and Zhao. They acted in such bad faith with us. We should treat them as enemies, not allies. Chen, Zhu, and Qi are all very much of equal strength right now. And we'll offend Zhu and Qi if we ally with Qin. Can the Han state handle that? Your Highness, Qin's army is small but powerful. Qi has fought against the Yan and Zhao for years, but it still couldn't defeat them. Chu has gone from bad to worse after the passing of King Wei, Chu occupied Chu Wu and Zhao Cheng then only because the main force of the Qin army was in Ban Shu, and Qin was also fighting the Han state. Your Highness, whatever states that Han is to ally with, it will be a gamble. If we bet right, Han wins. If we bet wrong, Han will still be alright, because Qin will help us. At present, Han has lost land to mostly the Qi and the Chu state. We might... We might have a chance to get it back, if we take the side of the Qin. You've changed during your visit to Xianyang. I don't recognize you anymore. You used to oppose Qin. Now you want to befriend them. Your Highness, Qin will always be Han's enemy, just like Qi and Chu are too. And if they weren't around, Wei, Yan, Zhao, and even Zhongshan would also become our opponents and enemies. Great ambitions around. There are no lasting friends in this age, just lasting enemies. How we use the advantage of enemies that surround us and ensure our survival. That's the most important thing we should be considering at this moment. Fine. I will. Do as you recommend. And ally with the Chin. Drink. One pot is enough. 
He used to drink pot after pot. You would yell at me if I were slow. My lord, are you in a bad mood today? I could be killed by a single pot if the wine is poisoned. What's that? What? Someone help! Keep quiet. My lord, what is the matter with you? Uh, we are... We are aligning with the Chin State after all. We are the very state that thousands of Han soldiers died fighting. I must atone for my misconduct. to make it to the feast. Come on, please, come inside. Honey, start cooking now. Bring wine. Sure. <laughs> well, come on. Hey, please, come, come. Hey, hey. Your wife there. She's great. What do you mean? Other brides immerse themselves totally in their work after they get married. But your wife is like an, an official who can survey an entire population, huh? <laughs> She's not. Let's drink. Quick, bring some wine and some meat as well. Yes. Huh? Sit. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I'm so glad that you're both here. Here. Good. <laughs> eat up, eat up. Yeah, yeah. Please, you help yourself. A toast to both of you. All right. Huh? Eat up, guys. Please. Eat up, honey. Hmm? What's up? I must, well, you know. All right. Toilets around back. I'm a guy. There's no need. Honey, eat up. Did you see? I can't say those words. I will. Hey, are you that evil? Huh? What's wrong? You really gonna bring him back? But we came here to bring him back to camp. Where's your heart? Orders. 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 Well, screw those orders! He's thrown himself at the enemy, so he deserves to be killed now? You know this is wrong! I don't know when I'll be back again, huh? <laughs> Why not stay with your wife tonight? Make a child. 
You should. Your Highness, oh, my respects to you. Please rise. Thank you. Get seats. Fungao is such a great man, right? <laughs> Fungao. Do you know why I will send you to the Han State now? Your Highness, the Han Crown Prince jumped off a cliff and died. And then Fungao carried his body back safely. On the contrary, Han should thank Fungao for this. The Crown Prince would have been left in the wild had it not been for him. The King of Han doesn't think so. His crown prince is dead and he can't bear the shame. This is the only way to win over their people. And sending Feng Gao to his death, I feel grief! Your Highness, sending a soldier with no regard for his own life simply to console a small state also fills me with great sorrow. But it concerns the alliance with him and the safety of Chin. I... I'm rash. Please forgive me. No, you're not. You're not. Hmm. Well, look. Hmm. You three are comrades in arms who'll die for each other. I believe every Chin soldier is magnificent. So are you. If sending him to the Han state now will satisfy the King of Han, but dampen the spirits of my soldiers, it's bad. I've been thinking about it for days, and I still hate the idea. Say no more, Your Highness. I am willing to go to Han. I have received money, title, and got a wife, too. <laughs> Listen, Fang Gao. This is not a business deal. This is your life here. Someone told me that trading a man for an ally is a great deal, and... 
Every other state would agree with it. But you know what? Qin won't do it. Because Qin soldiers are invaluable. Feng Gao. You are such a treasure to our state. So sending Feng Gao to the Han state as atonement would be an insult to the Qin. Get the premier here. I want you to send an envoy to meet the King of Han now. Go we'll talk to him. I prefer losing my state than losing this man. Qin won't make atonement. And the Han state would like to help. So Chin should show them something. But please, think this through, Jen. It's enough that I am married with child. Just wait! Why is he tied up now? That was my order. Do you have a problem with this? Fang Gao is one of Qin's generals. He is willing to sacrifice himself for Qin. Qin and Han should treat this general as a great hero. What you're doing is insulting a hero. I only know that he murdered my son, the Crown Prince. We could... Call him murderer if the crown prince was killed here at home. But he was killed on the battlefield. I'm sorry, but you misspoke. I request that you let him go now. Envoy, you are not needed here. Please leave. I cannot ignore this. General Fungal, please, please rest in peace. Your Highness, Mi Yuan, so how is your trip to Qi? The King of Qi promised to fight with the Song against Han and Wei so as to attack the Qin. She arrives to work. Chu alone faces Qin. Qi tries to stay aloof. What a good plan they have. The King of Qi met a lot of resistance in making the decision. You should know that. Han and Wei will be in danger if Qi sends troops. 
Chin will have to divide forces to rescue Han and Wei, but will be chased by the army of Chu. Then Chin State will be doomed to fail. Shang and you were occupied by Chin, and we should have seized them back through war. Each trade has its cost, doesn't it? I slipped this time. That Zhang Yi set me up. With our state's power and determination, taking the land back is within our reach. Fine. I will put you in charge of the supplies. Kill anyone who disobeys your orders. Yes, I will, your highness. The Qi state has sent troops. And first, they'll force Song to send troops. Second, they'll invade Han and Wei. And third, Qi will wait for the result of the war between Qin and Chu. The Chu Army's chief commander is Jing Tui, the young talent who outmaneuvered us before in Chu Wall. General Chu Gai is assisting him. Also, Chu has over 60 well-known generals. They are determined to win this fight with utmost force. There are great generals in Qin too. Some are very wise, and they're resourceful, and some brave and battle-wise as well, right? Many famous men. <laughs> All right, everybody. Tell me what you think of my idea now. Only great generals can defeat them at Hongu Pass. Ying Ji, Commander. Yes. Ying Hua. Your Highness. Lead them. Yes. <laughs> right. We will save the Han and Wei by, you see, here, driving back Qi and Chu. Then cut off their routes westward. Hmm. And send wise, resourceful generals to the southwestern line at Wu Pass. We will occupy Shang and you first, and defend them. Close in on the Chu State. And then, send a general to the southern line at Hangzhong. And this general must be good at holding the position and raiding the enemy's camp. So he would also need the great agility to assist the Qin army and the allies of Han and Wei. It's a critical area, then. Who is the best man? Just one person occurs to me. Gan Mao. Gan Mao can handle the southern lines. Is there anyone else in the camp? Huh? Well, if there are no problems in Shu, Sima Chua. He could do it, right? Hmm? Premier, who do you have in mind? Tell us. It's an old friend. <laughs> Premier, Wei Jiang, Wei Jiang. Nice to meet you, General Chu. All right, what brings you here today? I have heard that you are going to take back Shang and you. The people are excited. I'm here to congratulate you, by order of the king. You've been in Qin for months. You're empty-handed. General Chu occupied many cities in days. Now, finally, the land of Shang and you is within our reach. All right, all right. Enough of that now, okay? The Qin army is strong. The recovery of these cities is owed to the good fortune we've had. The Qin army is threatening outside, the gates full of determination. You are marvelous. General, I await your assignment. Hey, you don't get me out of war. It's dangerous for you to stay here at this moment. Yes, it may be dangerous for me, of course, but I am not afraid. Chen's bullying still rankles my mind. I request you... Take me in. I admire your ambition. I really do, envoy. But you should know this. The chin is deceitful and vicious, like getting the skin from a large, fearless tiger. We must fight them. Negotiating is no use. Why is there music from Chin's camp? Play from the middle of the night now. Huh? He's right. I hear it too. I've never heard 
such music from Chin's camps before. It sounds like a way song. Have the way arrived? It's from the Chin camp. The chief commander, Wei Zhang, comes from the Wei. After he was defeated by Shang Yang in the Hersey battle, he was jailed and then he stayed in Qin. The king of Wei thought he betrayed his state and killed his clan. So Wei Zhang remains with the Qin right now, unwilling to return to Wei again. <laughs> that Wei Zhang is a great general. He used to enjoy great fame. It's hard to say who would have been the victor had it not been for Shang Yang's skill. After many years, he suddenly returned and occupied Shang and Yu immediately. He must be highly thought of by the king of Qin. And from what I've heard, on all of the Qin camps, strict discipline is imposed. You know what? I bet it's the only one who dares disobey. Someone? General, your orders? Send a few men to search outside the camp. Search for what? For some wine. General, you can't drink more. Why not? General, this is the front line. Chu could attack us. And so... <laughs> True guy will you dare attack us now. Say no more. And go get me more chew liquor in here. General, it's already midnight. Yes. The specialty here is Don Fish. Bring some Don Fish too. Don Fish? Don Fish from Don River. Shaped like peach blossoms. If you eat the Don Fish, then you will live longer. Yes. As you wish. Just yes, You so might as well capture some Chu soldiers, too. I can understand why General Chu refuses to come out and play. He's acting shy, and he's scared to fight. Yes, General, I will. Listen to me, Chu Army! General Wei wants to talk to General Chu now! Please come down and meet him outside the city! General Chu! I'm on. General Wei, the honor's mine. I've been here over half a month now. I'm so sick of idling around. I've got an ancient. This is such a waste of time. How about appointing a data fight? General Chu, what do you think, then? Since you have proposed in general way, I would love to command my troops. And I will have them meet your needs. <laughs> okay. Here, tomorrow, then. Daybreak! We will be right here tomorrow. <laughs> General Chu, now we've agreed. Let's forget about attack tonight. We need to sleep well for the fight tomorrow. Danyang's high, sturdy wall, frustrate our desire to attack. But look! Our camps have prepared caltrops and fences. I feel your eagerness will lead you to attack our side during the night time. <laughs> it's all right, I won't go back on my word. General, now don't you worry. Hmm. Yeah!
Fight, General. Chu is attacking us now. Such a pity. I'm afraid we have. Made General Chu very nervous now. And that he might not fight us again. The army is backed by the whole state. We must fight to show our strength. Where's the Chu soldier's courage? Where is it? Tell Chu Guy, open the gate and destroy Chin. Chu Guy is a cautious man, and he's a careful general. He won't strike without certainty. He's a strategist, too. We are 500 kilometers from the front. Your Highness shouldn't give such an order like this one so lightly. Please listen. You have become so timid. You're old now. True. I am old now. You've been in charge of allying with Chin for more than 20 years. If this is really how it ends now, then how would you feel about all this? The Chu should not fight the Chin. It seems that the Premier here is interested in peace. Could it be that you will receive countless tributes and money from the Qin state if we manage to establish a peace treaty with them. Your Highness, His Excellency has handed over all the bribes Qin gave him. Of course you know this. He only thinks for Chu. He just felt scared and guilty. The Premier has many merits, but I dislike his greed. Premier, His Highness isn't wrong to encourage war, is he? Giving bad orders with no real knowledge of the situation on the ground would be a grave mistake. It would be bad for our state. The Chu have managed to occupy a few cities already because we struck suddenly and the Qin were ill prepared. However, now that Qin have three divisions on the ground, led by very experienced commanders that know how to fight, we cannot just fight them rashly. So we can stall and wear them out and attack when it's the time. I think only in that way can we be absolutely safe. Me and look, a single mistake on the battlefield could really cost us everything here. The Chu army would also be weakened by a delay. We do not fear delaying the fight. The Chin does. Premier, you have led troops for decades. Why didn't His Highness put you in charge this time around?
It is time to retire now. Amir. So then, are you leaving Ying? And you, you'll have to be much more careful in the future. For example, think of how many people are jealous of you because you are in charge of supplies. You must never offend those people or they will speak some ill things of you in front of his highness. Miyuen, don't be too idealistic. And learn to loosen your grip and learn how not to be so aggressive. Thank you for teaching me.